as with any movie of, of the Tomb Raider type, it's all a challenge from start to finish because it, it, you know, it's all unique, it all kind of happens on the page and then we have to make it work in reality. But one of the vehicles that was used in the film was a Rubicon Jeep. Lara Croft's entry to Africa was by parachute into the back of this Jeep. So what we did was we spoke to the design guys over at Jeep and, and we kind of manipulated some of their designs. Because the vehicle was moving, we had to make sure that, that there was enough room in the back that would allow the parachute into the vehicle because we actually did that for real. Lara, welcome back. A lot of the, the real weapons are um, standard off-the-shelf weapons that you buy and then we might alter them to look slightly different. This is the weapon you had in the last film, right. which is black over, uh, sorry, stainless steel over black. But we understand there's a, I like to have a <laughs> color change. I'm a girl. They match my outfit now. This is the left and the right because she has to use two all the time. You had to invent this. We had to, uh, build a, yeah. <laughs> build a, build a left-handed. just release. <laughs> now, this is a really lightweight one, based on the US Marine. The silent military, it's very, it's very sexy. It was nice. It's probably the biggest responsibility of the whole film is making sure that there are no accidents on set. Angelina had training on Tomb Raider 1, so I didn't have to instruct her at all. A number of the other actors had to be trained in, in the use of the weapon to make them look as though they knew how to do it, and also again to make sure they were safe on set with the crew and the other actors around them. I researched um, an underwater gun that the companies um, developed for special operations in the 70s. It has five barrels, fires a steel dart, and can be fired on the surface. I've got a military vehicle in that we put in snow colours, and it's, it's Lara's entrance to her first meeting with Jerry. And we realised that Lara had to get into this vehicle, and, and this was an armoured car, and it didn't have any conventional doors. So, you know, the day before, we had to cut the door in the side of it for the movie. I can hear the military boys out there going, that wasn't like that. Once we built these vehicles and we actually get them out on location, we obviously have to maintain them very much like a race team, actually. So we have a mobile workshop. I need to make sure that not only can we build them, that we can also keep them on the road or in the air, in most of the case with this bike. <laughs> That's where you get the bruises. <laughs> he showed me his bruises. We're all sporting him. Yeah. You can just cut to the film where I finally mastered it. Special request from Angelina. It's my fantasy. It's secret. I uh, fantasy weapons. So that'll go in up there. It's um, a gun from America, a little sort of handbag self-defense weapon. It's for the ladies' purse. 